Community Health Improvement Partners' mission is to assess and address priority health needs through collaboration. We envision communities where everyone achieves optimal health. A few years ago, we lost our nephew Austin to suicide. He was 21 years old, and it was the most devastating thing that had happened to our family. For many years when we were working on suicide, people don't want to talk about it. They don't want to even say the word. CHIP is simply one of the most important partners we have for healthcare issues in San Diego County. So far, CHIP and its partners have empowered more than 3,000 San Diegans to recognize the warning signs of suicide, to get help, and to save lives. Uh, they've taken that on as a, as a major issue. Again, for me, this is something very personal. Uh, we, we're working, we think, to really achieve, let's reduce the number of suicides in San Diego County. CHIP's Suicide Prevention Council was the place to be at the local level to understand who the stakeholders are, what are the different organizations um, that ha are vested in this issue, how they come together to make a difference for the community. It's so important for the residents who are mental health clients to have a place that they can feel safe and work on their recovery and get support. I mean, essentially, an independent living home becomes their family. This home is part of the Independent Living Association. It is privately owned and it houses clients with mental illness and other disabilities. And that's what's so exciting is that we were able to bring the community together and make it happen and now it is such a successful project. CHIP was the lead agency which developed and implemented the first ever quality standards representing the industry's best practices, a key element which helps create safe homes for mentally ill clients. This is the only project of its kind in the country. And we are hoping actually that it will be a, a blueprint for other areas because the, even the federal government is terribly concerned with this problem. And we feel that CHIP was very brave in taking this on. It took CHIP only one year to create and implement the ILA. Already, nearly 50 homeowners have applied to the ILA, and the program has educated and trained nearly 600 people. We need to sometimes look upstream um, to create policy changes. So the, the point of that is to create supportive environments. We can't ask people to eat healthy and to exercise and to live these healthy lifestyles if they don't have an environment that supports that. The importance of our involvement, and mine in particular, and Whole Foods, is that it's, it's part of our core values, is working within the community. Uh, we, we spend a lot of time with community projects, and so if our whole being is, is getting healthy, nutritious, beautiful produce and foods to people, how can we get that into the schools? Partners like Whole Foods and the YMCA are helping to implement the San Diego County Childhood Obesity Initiative locally. The purpose is to create healthy environments for children and their families through advocacy, education, policy, and environmental change. Looking at a community sustainable food system, how do we make that happen? And that's by looking and, and supporting our local growers, our local manufacturers, working to bring them into contact with the institutions, and in this case, schools in particular. A healthy community is extremely important. And because the county is responsible for public health, we've got a natural partnership. We believe that getting started early and getting started in the preschool setting or the early learning environment is the place to really start those healthy habits that will hopefully continue for the rest of the children's lives. The Childhood Obesity Initiative is already working and has been nationally recognized, especially when San Diego is among one of the few counties throughout the state to record a decline in overweight and obese children within the past five years. But there is still much more to be done. Knowing that I don't have to have advanced degrees. I don't have to have 
a position in local politics to make a difference. I don't have to wait five, ten years to make a difference. I can do it now. So the Resident Leadership Academy is about empowering residents, um, actual people, families, kids, moms, dads, in their communities to be able to make change in their own community. The RLA educates residents on how environments shape health outcomes and empowers them to advocate for healthy food access, improve public safety, and physical activity opportunities in their neighborhoods. Amanda is also a mentor, a big sister to her 12-year-old mentee in National City. Both went through the RLA. She really comprehended what it meant about, hey, there's no healthy places to eat in my neighborhood. Um, I can't walk to a grocery store. Uh, my little sisters, there's a lot of traffic when they want to cross the street to go to school in my neighborhood. So what we learned is that we go into the community and we work with residents and we teach them about the issues. We give them the tools that they need so they know how to advocate and that they can make the changes in their own community and that creates sustainability. Everyone can make a difference with the tools and collaborations. Join the Community Health Improvement Partners to tackle the top issues with innovative, effective community health programs make a positive change in our communities.